In this problem, we're given two vectors, u and v, and we have to answer various questions. The problem looks kind of intimidating, but I'm pretty sure it's actually simple. Let's go ahead and work through it. So you have our vector here, u, which is equal to 0, 1. And then we have another vector, v, which is equal to 4, negative 4. Okay, the first part wants us to find the magnitude of u. So let's go ahead and work through that part. So the magnitude of the vector u. So to find the magnitude, you basically take the square root, and then you square each of the components and you add them up. So it'll be 0 squared plus 1 squared. So 0 plus 1 is 1, so we get the square root of 1, so we just get 1. So the answer here to the first part is 1. I'm going to go ahead and, and type it in here, so 1. All right. Let's go ahead and do part B. By the way, this tells us something about u. This means that u is a unit vector. So a vector that has magnitude 1 is called a unit vector. Let's find the magnitude of v. So again, it's the square root. And then you just square each of the components. So you square the first component, so 4 squared, plus, and then you square the second component, so negative 4 squared. This is equal to... 16 plus 16, which is equal to 32. And I suppose you could try to simplify this. Um, I, I, we can leave it or we can try to simplify it. Let's try to simplify it. The largest factor of 32 that is a perfect square is 16. So we can write this as square root of 16, square root of 2. So that's 4 square root of 2. So that's the second answer. So we have this one. And we have this one. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. So 4. And I think I can type in SQRT for the square root. Let's try it. SQR. I'm going to hit the letter T. Boom, it worked. <laughs> Good stuff. Part C. So part C wants us to find the magnitude of the sum. So that means that we first have to add them up to figure out what the sum is. So U plus V. So what is this? This is 0, 1 plus 4, negative 4. So how do you add vectors? So basically, you just add the components. So the first one would be 0 plus 4. I'll show all the steps. And the next one would be 1 plus negative 4. That's how you add vectors. You just add each of the individual pieces. So this is equal to 4, comma, negative 3. Beautiful stuff. So that's our sum. But we want the magnitude of the sum. All right, so let's do it. So this is the magnitude of the sum. So just like before, we take the square root and we just square each of the components. So 4 squared plus and then negative 3 squared. 4 squared is 16. Oh, this problem is totally rigged. Negative 3 squared is 9 because 16 plus 9 is 25 and the square root of 25 is the number that we all know as 5. So this answer here would be 5. Now here's the really cool part. The answers to the rest of these are just 1. So the answer is 1 to all of these. So how do I know that? Well, whenever you have, so let me just refresh your memory, use a different color here. So fact. If you have a vector u, and let's say it's not equal to 0, so it's not equal to the 0 vector, then if you take u and you divide it by its magnitude, this is a unit vector, always, every single time. So this is a unit vector in the direction of u. So extra info. So if you have a non-zero vector and you divide by its magnitude, you get what's called a unit vector. In particular, this is a unit vector that points in the same direction as u. So if you had a vector like this, say this was u, and you divide by its magnitude, you would get a different vector, maybe a smaller one, like this. So the yellow one is this one here. And the length of this is 1. So whenever you do this, whenever you divide a vector by its magnitude, whenever you turn a vector into a unit vector, it's called normalizing. Anyways, in this case, in the first part, uh, it wants us to find the magnitude of u over the magnitude of u, like this. I'll, I'll omit the arrow for simplicity. Well, we know... This is a unit vector. That means its length is 1. 
Same thing here, right? This is a unit vector, so its length is 1. Same thing here. We have u plus v, and we're dividing by the magnitude of u plus v. So u plus v has been normalized. It has been turned into a unit vector. So when you take its magnitude, you will get 1. So in all three cases, you just get 1. It's like a trick uh, question. So again, whenever you have a vector u, and you divide by its magnitude, you are normalizing it. In other words, you are turning it into a unit vector. In other words, you are turning it into a vector that has length one. Super, 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 super important. I hope this video has been helpful.